Good morning everyone, welcome back to another video. So we're continuing with the library demolition and today we are taking out this room. So in the corner here, there's this little bedroom and we've started with the plasterboard inside. I've also started on the outside, removing all of the MDF chipboard and things like that. So yeah, I've got Dad and Yanis with me. It's a rainy, miserable day outside, but we're inside and it's nice and dry. So let's crack on. So Yanis and Dad are inside the room and I'm outside of the room taking out the exterior wall. But they have exposed the beautiful stone wall which um, is between this floor and the lift shaft. So this is a big wall, it's probably about a metre to ten, something like that, metre to twenty. It's a huge wall. Obviously this is staying, we can't remove that and I wouldn't want to anyway. But yeah, um, it's an interesting project, this is just because we really enjoy demolition and stripping things back. It's the best part of a job. And yeah, that's gonna end very quickly, I think, over the next few weeks, because once it's done, then we've got to sort of reinstate things, which is very, very time consuming. But um, let's talk about the sagging beam. Let's go and talk about that quickly. So imagine how much timber was used to put into a building like this. There must be an entire forest of oak to just put in interior walls. So the whole corridor, every room up here has a wall like this, but also above again, on the next floor above, it's identical to this. And it's exactly the same construction. And then the roof structure as well. So an entire forest of oak has gone into building this convent, which is pretty insane. Um, but what I do want to talk about quickly is this sagging beam because you can see where it's meant to be and you can see obviously over the years that was put in green and it sagged down so much that there's probably about 30 centimetres there that it's dropped by. And that's not a good thing. That now needs replacing. Um, that structure there does look quite structural but that was probably put in when it was put in and I don't understand why but that had probably already sacked like that i'm not sure but anyway um we need to replace that and that means as soon as we've done this floor we've stripped it out we've got to go upstairs and do exactly the same thing again because we can't replace that with the floor above we need to take out all the rooms all of the floors the joists to expose that beam remove that beam replace it either with an RSJ or another oak beam and then reinstate the floor above just to be able to continue downwards. So yeah, that's a pretty mad thing. And I wasn't expecting that because I did think that beam was in good condition, but we didn't inspect it enough. But it doesn't matter. We take these sort of problems in our stride. We just continue with it 
And yeah, I'm really, really excited for this project. It's gonna be amazing. <laughs> What we've done, we've taken all the plasterboard off the walls. Um, now we're about to take the ceiling down and all the joists. And then uh, after that, we've got to take the outside skin off and then knock out the, the lather and plaster in, on the inside of the beams, like the same as that one over there. Um, and then we'll be getting there somewhere. Are you ready, the Mick? Let's crack on. on. Yeah.
So what I'm about to do now is remove this weird ceiling. So above Alex, who's currently filming, there is a terracotta ceiling, which is designed for fireproofing. Now above me here, there's a plywood ceiling, which doesn't actually make any sense. If they went to all that effort to do that for fireproofing, why would they put plywood? It's a bit of a shoddy construction, what we're currently removing. It's probably some of the worst work I've ever seen. I don't know who did it. It was definitely not the nuns, but I imagine they paid a fortune to do it or have it done. So it makes you wonder if they got ripped off at some point. Anyway, um, yeah, let's bring down this plywood ceiling. Okay, let's go. So actually, after making that hole, I can see the main beam. So once we remove that, we're about to see how bad it is. That's quite good. So yeah, let's, um, let's just get it down. That is dodgy, that is.
Okay, that's interesting. Thanks, Dennis. Good job. I'm in the way, sorry. Just watch any nails, okay? A little bit dusty, but we're all right. Just going to go up here a little bit. The beam actually doesn't look that bad from this side. It's that side it looks worse. Yeah, because the, the way the ceiling thing put up there, an angle, makes it look like the beams. They're still sloping a lot though. But we can't decide yet until we've uh, exposed all, all, so. There's only a wooden floor, isn't it? Oh, yeah, there's only a wooden floor above, but yeah. there's put a lot of weight with these internal walls, don't forget. But other than that, there's not much up there. Hmm, good job. No, it's not live. That's the light, we know that's live. No, they're not live. They refeed back. Orange is generally um, not necessarily fire alarm, but it could be the emergency lighting because it's multi core. That's just normal electric cable. No earth, which is a bit dodgy. So, yeah, that's not live. We know that light's live though, so it's fine. Jobs are good and. So what we've got to do next is just remove the MDF or whatever you call that chipboard off the wall here. And then we're probably going to make a bit of a mess taking out the wattle and daub. So we better crack on.
Well, this concrete isn't very thick. So again, they probably put this concrete floor in to make the hallway nice and level for pushing around wheelchairs, maybe wheel bed, things like that, but also, like I said, fireproofing. But I didn't put enough cement and it is really, really soft and crumbly. They've also put chicken wire to give it some strength. But just, it's not very strong at all, which is a great thing because we've got to remove it all. <laughs> um, so yeah. we have stripped the inside of this room, the outside, we removed the ceiling here. We've cleaned up a bit and then tomorrow we're removing all of the wattle and door between it, which will be really nice because it's going to open up this floor a little bit. And once that's done, we're about 50% through the demolition of this floor. Um, we've got two more rooms to do after that. Remove the ceiling. I'm not sure about the floor just yet because we need an actual surface to work on. And then once it's all removed, we can expose the beam completely and see how bad it is. So thank you everyone for watching this video today and I'll see you all tomorrow.